Well, the family, um, I got an opportunity to show it in the film in Delhi. They had such good things to say, you know, Captain Vikram Batra's mother saying that, you know, she was in tears and these are tears of pride uh, more that, uh, you know, you are showing to the world as what, my, what Vikram gave his life for. You get so, uh, you know, embroiled in work all the time that you forget sometimes to have a regular life. So I think uh, both of us have a regular life and that's what we connect on. This industry equates everything with business. Uh, but I'm hoping times have changed. I'm hoping they see actors for their craft as well first and not purely what they bring into the business aspect of it. Hi Siddharth, welcome to E-Times. Hi, thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. And congratulations, firstly, for the huge success on Sher Shah. Uh, the Sabra Kapal has finally paid off. How does it feel? Ji, <laughs> <laughs> bilkul. As you said, this film uh, tested uh, my patience. It's taken a long, long time. and uh, But it all feels worth it with the response and love coming our way um, for our film Sher Shah. Uh, and I'm so happy that, uh, you know, uh, whether people are saying that you know, whether it's performance, whether it's it's all departments, actually. I'm so happy they all came together uh, for a special film like, you know, Sher Shah, which is, of course, Captain Vikram Batra's life story. So very, very happy. Um, this is like, you know, the most valuable thing an actor can earn uh, is that kind of love and respect for one's craft. And uh, um, I think this surpasses um, uh, everything that I have today. And um, it gives me a great sense of motivation for my future films and, and craft that I have to work even harder to, to keep this going and hopefully get this response uh, in the future in all my films. How has, the, how has his family reacted to the film and also Dimple? How have they reacted? Well, the family, um, I got an opportunity to show them the film in Delhi. Um, Captain Vikram Batra's family, his twin brother, his parents, his cousins. Yes. Uh, they all came down to Delhi. Uh, we could show them on the big screen uh, with the Indian Army. Uh, so it was, it was. I think it was the most uh, nervous that I was for the film because uh, you know I kept saying that there's the only review that I really hope and, uh, uh, that I really hope was good and uh, and I was waiting for. Um, and they were so special. They were so emotional for obvious reasons after the film, and uh, they had they had such good things to say. Um, you know whether. Uh, you know, Captain Vikram Batra's mother saying that you know she was in tears, and and, and these are not tears of uh, these are tears of pride. Uh, more that uh, you know you are showing to the world as what my what Vikram gave his life gave his life for, um, and I feel really proud to be. Uh, that was very special. You know, even his 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 twin brother saying that you know after seeing the film. Uh, you know, I remember that I've, I realized that I've only seen Vikram off the battlefield. Right. And now whenever I think of the battlefield, I, I, I think of you and I think of your visuals. Um, and I feel extremely touched and blessed that, you know, first they, uh, you know, liked the film and thought we did justice to their sons and their brother's story. Sure. Um, and we hope that, you know, now it's, it's out for the world to see and all the youngsters will see it. and. And hopefully gain some inspiration and know about you know our armed forces, know about Kargil war, um, and and the sacrifices and the work that goes into. Um, as far as Dimple uh, G is concerned, she unfortunately we haven't met. Uh, she's very very uh, private. Uh, she's and I think we respect that. It's her decision. I'm sure it's equally difficult for her, and she's somewhere uh, smiling, uh, looking at all of this. So okay, that's really a biggest achievement if the family is loving the film. That's what you need, right? Absolutely, absolutely. It's a uh, because these are real people, right? You're you're portraying a real life true hero. It's not a fictitious kahani. It's not something that you know a writer just thought of and wrote up. So when you have real people involved, you want to give them that respect. And it's it's only 20, 21 years ago, twenty two years ago. Hmm. Uh, so you you uh, definitely that that matters. The world to me, and and now uh, not you, not only them, but the rest of the world know their son's story, their son's sacrifice. I remember um, Captain Vikram Batra's nephew and nieces were only 19 years or late teens, are uh, saying, ki, you know, we never saw him. 
we do not know him but uh, through this film we get to understand him uh, you know and and, and we are so happy with we you know you made this film uh, on his life story so i was just so uh, touched and uh, you know felt so blessed that that i got this opportunity to portray his life story okay are you expecting a national award for this performance it is obviously a <laughs> uh, part breaking performance by you so yeah Oh, that's so sweet. I'm, I'm. Thank you. I'm so happy that you think so. But uh, as I said, right now, I'm just enjoying. Uh, you know, people enjoying the work and craft. Uh, you know, everything else. Uh, whatever. Uh, if people feel, I think it's one of the most prestigious awards that one actor can receive uh, by our government, uh, a national award. But uh, I'm not. I'm not really uh, thinking about it uh, as of now. But uh, just really soaking in the love and the appreciation that's coming for the film. Uh, like you just mentioned that you are getting praised by everyone be it your friends from the industry or your fans or his family everyone so does that give a sense of validation as an artist and do you think you have finally got your dues well absolutely uh, i think any actor is working uh, i did not come all the way from new delhi to work in mumbai as an actor to just make a certain amount of say a livelihood or certain money or the job i came here to make people feel really happy uh, and proud of the films that i am a part of and people hopefully can learn something from films i hope they feel something when i'm on the screen uh, and to get this kind of response um, for a film like shesha definitely makes it all worthwhile and makes it special you know people are understanding the nuances the detailing uh, that i have put in as a character people are understanding the reason people are understanding the story and the character which is right. what's the most important thing so um yes i think it's 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 given me motivation for my future films uh, to to do even better right. like to keep working at it so that uh, you know put in that much efforts so you get this much love in return but so that do, do you feel disheartened that the film did not get a theater release considering the love it's getting now do you think the situation or the feeling would have been very different if it the if the film would have been released in theaters well um, a it's 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 a you know where the film goes eventually is a producer call uh, right. it's not i wish it was under my hands and uh, in my control uh, but that being said uh, uh, yes we had a release date last year you know we had a release date this year but as we speak maharashtra in itself is not open opened its theaters to watch and it's a big big uh, you know state for business uh, and um, yes and also seeing the love that we've gotten today i i can say this with confidence that it would not have been disappointing uh, at the box office for sure right. it would have yeah. you know gone par our expectations because we've generally getting so much love from all different you know walks whether it's our personal friends and family giving us whether it's the industry or whether it's the media or right. whether it's on social media so you know that you have something special here uh, that would not have disappointed people but uh, you know it's the new norm uh, today's day and age i think it's the most uh, a safe way to watch a film uh, we are bringing our special film to you in the comforts of your home uh, so i i felt it was meant to be it would possibly be seen with many people in this format uh, i'm just soaking in the love and uh, now gearing up uh, for the next project which will definitely be in theaters right because i read some tweets from the trade analyst and they were they were saying that if it would have been released in theaters the film would have done 200 crores easily because the content oh, wow. is just amazing so wow, yeah that yeah that feels really special i think that's something obviously when you get uh, that kind of reach and you make that kind of profit for your producers every actor feels very happy right but i think my my producers are happy right now as well uh, of course it would have been great to get because uh, uh, which i have said before you know this industry equates everything with business uh, but i am hoping times have changed i'm hoping they see actors for their craft as well first and not purely what they bring into the business aspect of it so as of now we're getting a lot of love for our craft in this film in every department um and uh, kudos to all those people who were saying uh, like a 200 uh, crore hit but we are feeling that i think we are feeling that we might not have the numbers there but we have the love for sure and uh, i just wanted to discuss uh, the last scene of the film the funeral scene i just wanted to know like for my personal i am very curious to know a uh, dimple couldn't see the mortal remains of vikram in the end so was it in uh, real life or have you guys tweaked it no so that's that actually is a fact that uh, 
So you have to realize in the late 90s, uh, even though Captain Vikram Patra had informed his parents about Dimple, um, you know, Dimple's family was possibly not so comfortable at that time. It was not, they, there were no mobile phones to communicate yeah. with somebody so fast. And they were very young, uh, they were dating, but you know, it was not so open. So it's not like she had met the family before. Uh, so, and also she's in Chandigarh and the cremation happened in Palim, Palampur. Right. Um, so uh, this actually Vishal Batra did narrate this sequence to us that, uh, this portion to us that, you know, they had already cremated the body and uh, they were going back to get Captain Vikram Bat Batra's ashes. Okay. And that's when they saw someone lying, you know, sitting on the staircase and, and being very emotional. And uh, the, nobody recognized her, uh, but uh, Vishal Batra recognized her that, hey, you know, this is Dimple. Uh, so we have kept the same thing that she did miss it, though we've actually gotten her much earlier and screamed her because we, didn't, we could not show her such a long time. But that is something that very uh, sad and unfortunate that happened in those times because they were not, because they were not officially uh, engaged uh, within families. So do you understand the cultural difference at that time? Ki, you know, young Larka Larki to openly come and say, ki, you know, he was my boyfriend or I, you know, we did this. It was very difficult at that time. And maybe I think she got delayed reaching there and must be traumatizing. So we, it's, that's, that's very much inspired from what happened in reality. And you guys have not shown Dimple's picture towards the end when you show the real life pictures of other people. That, that again is a, a request from Dimple herself. And we respect that. She's someone who... Uh, you know, is extremely private and wants to keep it very personal as to what she's gone through, uh, you know, with, with this and what it meant to her. I think it, I, I actually love that. I think it's so commendable that her love is so pure for Captain Vikram Bhatra. She doesn't want her photo to be anywhere. Right. You know, she doesn't want to face a camera and talk about it. Uh, I think for her, uh, the memories that she has of him uh, are enough and, you know, she doesn't want people to communicate and maybe possibly misinterpret what she's trying to say, you know, when you speak to more people, people make different other stories and, and it can really disturb you, someone which is so pure, I think. So I love that about her. I think uh, I have personally never met her, uh, but I'm hoping that she's uh, watched our film and, and smiling. I'm sure it's a very, very difficult, uh, you know, watch for her as well. Uh, but I really appreciate her a sense of privacy and, and, and the purity that she has for uh, her love to Captain Vikram Batra. And one more thing, uh, Siddharth, in my interview with Kiara, I asked her to describe you as a co-star and as a friend. So she told me that as a co-star, you are very focused and dedicated. And as a friend, she considers you one of the closest friends in the industry. How do you react to that? And how would you describe Kiara as a friend and as a co-star? Uh, well, this was, this was our first time, uh, you know, working together. We met um, a couple of years ago for the film. Uh, before that, I had met her. Um, I met her during uh, uh, last stories uh, screening and end of last day shoot that that short story that she did with Karan. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we were just so eager to get her on board for Dimple's role because we felt that she has a great sense of honesty and honesty as an actor, uh, which uh, which I really admire about her on screen because. You know, she can give you that uh, you, uh, sense of purity, like she just gives you that very, you know, honest feel. Uh, and on set also, I think she she she's instinctive. Uh, you know, she uh, possibly I would want to do more takes and she would be okay with it. Because I think if you left it to her, she would not want more takes and I would keep asking Vishnu, let's try one more. Let's try it like this. And she'd be like, Karna hai kya? I said, yeah, yeah, karte na, try karte na, takes. But she would be very, very accommodating. I think she's more... Uh, free flowing and instinctive on set, which uh, which really worked. People have, you know, seen her character and result, and uh, she's done wonderful to play this Sardani uh, Dimple Chima. Yeah. Uh, and I think uh, uh, even personally, I think there is a sense of regularness to her, um, of which I I think we both connect on it. I'm I'm a boy who's from Delhi and not connected per, per se in the industry, but now for many many years, and she's been working for a couple of years as well, many years actually. Um, and just to get that sense of regularness that we both have a life away from the film industry right. is something that I think uh, we connect with and we cherish because you get so, uh, you know, embroiled in work all the time that you forget sometimes to have a regular life. 
So I think uh, both of us have a regular life, and that's what we connect on. Thank you so much, Siddharth, for doing this, and it was lovely to talk to you. And congratulations once again for such a fab film. Thank you so so much. I'm so happy that you liked the film, and thank yeah, you so much for having this lovely chat. Thank you. I, my quality. Thank you. So- your song ranja i love that song so much <laughs> that's so sweet that's so special please thank you please keep it on i'm i'm really happy with all the love thank you